we had all this greatness on the cusp You kept on flaking like the paint that's on the rust I bet you never think I'd heal from the cuts Now I know you're not a person I can trust And I see who you are And it tears me apart And you're lost in the fog So go back to the start Welcome to this episode of Riot Pro Wrestling. I'm Everett Lee. JC Vega, he steps in the ring against James Wolfe. But before that, Riot Pro Wrestling presents Day of Reckoning, Saturday, July 27th at the Volusia Mall, right next to the old Sears Outlet and Dunderbox, 1700 West International Speedway Boulevard in Daytona Beach, Florida. Tickets available at eventbrite.com. Doors open up at 345, showtime at 4 p.m. Ringside, $20. Second row, 15. General admission, 10. You will not want to miss this live event from Riot Pro Wrestling. Let's head to the ringside and check out JC Vega takes on James Wolf. Our following matchup is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, fighting out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, this is JC Vega. Hey fans, it's Chris Carnage here for yet some more Riot Pro Wrestling action. And I have my counterpart here, good old Everett Lee, as we welcome JC Vega to the ring. JC Vega, I haven't seen him in a long time, Chris. He is an alumni here to Riot Pro Wrestling. He has come back for some competition. I wonder who he's going to be facing. And his opponents are coming into the ring by... Wrestling out of Seminole County, Florida. This is James Wolf. Very interesting as we uh, see James Wolf making his way to the ring with Miss Lillis. Going into singles competition after what's been happening with the Wolves of Odin. Wolves of Odin. I gotta say James Wolf was with the Wolves of Odin, and he was the standout in that tag team. Look at the aggression out of James Wolf when he comes to the ring. Even when he's in the ring, James Wolf is out for one thing, and has to inflict pain and punishment on anyone he stands across the ring with, Chris. And with Miss Law, she's such a great manager. Managing James Wolf. This is, should be an interesting uh, contest here. I mean, we'll definitely see what we get as we hear the bell ring and this match is underway. You have New Blood versus Alumni. Who will come out on top? I'm going to go with James Wolf, man. He's going to eat JC Vega for breakfast. <laughs> I don't know. JC Vega is no slouch, but we do say James Wolf take the lead in this match with the side headlock here on JC Vega. JC Vega. Battling back onto a side headlock of his own. JC Vega switching things up on Wolf there. Wolf wanting to pace this out here. And Vega just wrenching the head on Wolf. What do we have here? Ah, Wolf is trying to send JC Vega off the rope to try and break that hold, but JC Vega's hold is too strong as he keeps wrenching that side headlock. Vegas giving it back to Wolf there, saying, whatever you can do, I can do too, with wrenching the head. Nope. All right, Wolf got Vega into the ropes, initiating the count from the ref. So Vega naturally lets go of Wolf. Both men still feeling each other out. I don't think Wolf was ready for that, but here we go again, Chris. Let's try this again. Yeah, again we go as Wolf goes back to the side headlock. Oh. oh, Vega tried to power out, but Wolf's a little too strong there. 
He was ready this time, Chris. He is ready. Yep. There we go. Oh. All right. Into another side headlock. And a headlock takeover by J.C. Vega. Putting Wolf down on the mat there. He's trying to keep him down. He's trying to use Wolf's strength and energy. Oh, and a pin. He's trying to use that energy and strength against him right there. He's trying to wear him down. Uh, trying to as we trans over into a head scissors on J.C. Vega from James Wolf. Look at that, Chris. Cutting the air supply out of Vega there. Wolf. Oh, what is Vega? Oh. Vega just reversed it there. That he did as he had Wolf. Did you serve enough? As he has Wolf down on the mat, was almost had a pin there. But Wolf trying to position himself into another head scissors on JC Vega. JC Vega kicking out. And another headlock takeover from Vega. Look at that. He's just using Wolf's energy and strength against him to wear him down. So he can get a pinfall there. Ref checking the shoulders. All right, Wolf trying to get back out, getting that head scissors once again. But with a little bit of leverage this time. This is wrestling right here, Chris. Both these guys have come to do wrestle. They're trying to see who can out-wrestle each other. And it's pretty much equally matched right now. Absolutely is, as we see JC Vega oh, going to a surfboard stretch. Oh, I'll stretch your back out there. Definitely will, but Wolf is able to slip out and get out of the ring. Visibly frustrated. I'd be frustrated too. Every move and every hold I try to throw at someone with the name of JC Vega, and JC Vega just giving it back, a counter for a counter. Definitely is. We see Wolf get back into the ring. Oh, goes for a clothesline. Vega ducks into another headlock takeover. Oh. Vega's pacing this match now. He's in control. He's keeping Wolf down. He does not want Wolf up. Wolf is making his way back up, Chris. Definitely is as he pushed AC Vega back into the rope and shoots him off. Drops down. Goes for the line. Vega dugs into a schoolboy roll up. Only a count of one. And another headlock takeover. Yep, he's not letting Wolf do anything. He's letting Wolf know he's in control. And he is in charge of the pacing of this matchup. But Wolf has tried everything in his will to come up with some kind of counter to maneuver Vega to put him away. Absolutely, as we see Wolf deliver a huge kick and shooting Vega into the other corner. Oh, but Vega reverses with a boot of his own. Oh, and a huge forearm. Nice little calculated arm drag there. Oh, and a spinning back kick. Ah, oh, he's just kicking, kicking Wolf. Just taking him back down. And oh, no, Chris. Oh, oh that could have been a knockout shot. Vega goes for the cover. One, two, and a kick out from Wolf. It rattled. It rattled James Wolf there. He did not expect that. JC Vega just changing it up on Wolf. Wolf came in with a strategy, but nope. Oh, what was that? Lilith getting involved. Oh, but Wolf taking advantage of the distraction from Miss Lilith. That's why Miss Lilith's by ringside, Chris. I would have took the uh, distraction and advantage of it too. It helped James Wolf there. Absolutely, as James Wolf is trying to kick it into another gear, delivering clubbing blows and a huge kick to J.C. Vega. Look, he has Vega right where he wants him in. Here we go, Chris. Oh! That's right. That's right. Who's in control now? Who's in control now? Certainly not Vega. Oh, look at that. Miss Lil getting involved yet again while the ref back is turned. Lilith's doing what she needs to do to make sure James Wolf wins and take that oh. opening and opportunity to help him win this matchup. Uh, as we see Wolf go for the cover, one, two, and a kick out from Vega. Frustrating. James Wolf does not need to get frustrated. Lilith's getting frustrated too. Oh. Uh, Wolf just beating down Vega. Vega trying to get back in this, but. Wolf now firmly in control. 
as he kicks J.C. Vega out of the ring. Count. Come on, let's get back in the ring. One. Start that count there. Two. Going with that count. Three. Hoping he can secure this win. Absolutely. Definitely not a bad strategy with the way he's been trying to beat down Vega. Hoping he's gassed enough to not get back in. But Vega still has some in the tank. Takes a kick for his troubles. Wolf just going in, just just beating, just the brawling style. He's changed up his style here on Ooh. Vega. Hoping that would help. Absolutely, as he delivers a huge suplex to J.C. Vega. Now bringing him back to his feet. Oh, oh Wolf was seemingly going for a bear hug of some type, but J.C. Vega giving huge headbutts and a reverse atomic drop. Oh, no. This ain't looking good. Oh, and then a regular atomic drop. Vega feeling it. Oh, but Wolf with a huge kick to Vega. He's seen him coming. That was going to happen again. It was not going to happen again, Chris. Oh, and a huge elbow drop from James Wolf. Wolf, two guys to go for the cover. Yes, it does. Wolf, it does hurt, but. Go for that cover. Put him away. Oh. All right, a kick out from J.C. Vega. Wolf probably taking a little too long to get that cover. Can, can, like, can we finish this, please? That's right. Miss Lilith giving James Wolf a little bit of gruff. Telling, telling Wolf to finish it. Put it away. We're done here. As Wolf is trying to get Vega to his feet, Chris. Yeah, Wolf gets Vegas to his feet and backs him into the corner. What's he setting up for? Uh-oh. Uh, trying to whip Vega, but Vega trying to fight back yet again. Oh, just clubbing him in the back. Just clubbing him back, trying to get him to do what... Oh, there we go. Come on, Wolf, let's see what you got. Oh! Vega coming out of the corner hot with a big clothesline, now sizing up Wolf. Oh! Oh, here we go. Oh, oh! Vega hitting a crazy neckbreaker variant there on Wolf. Wolf could be done, but Miss Lilith putting the hand of James Wolf on the rope, breaking the ref's count. The ref clearly seeing it. Well, she didn't want Wolf to go out like that. She was making sure he wouldn't go out with that neckbreaker right there. It's rattled Wolf. Wolf. Rolling out of the ring there, needs to collect himself and pace himself to get back in this matchup. Well, Wolf rolls out of the ring with the ref initiating his count. Lilith's done. She knows. She knows. Do you remember this? Let's go. Lilith, Miss Lilith, clearly frustrated with James Wolf. James Wolf trying to get back in this. Delivering a huge club and a headbutt to J.C. Vega. There we go. Oh! oh. James Wolf running into Miss Lilith, being distracted. Vega getting schoolboy roll up. He gets the win. I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. Well, we're going to look at the replay right here because if you don't believe it, Wolf getting into the ring and trying to whip J.C. Vega gets reversed and he runs into Lilith distracting him and J.C. Vega getting the schoolboy roll up for the one, two, three. I can't believe that. Miss Lilith was in the wrong place, wrong time there and it costed James the uh, matchup. I mean it definitely did. Uh, J.C. Vega able to capitalize and get that win. Lilith beside herself. Oh, she's frustrated, Chris. And I know James Wolf is frustrated with that happening right there, costing him the match. Absolutely, James Wolf can't believe it. <laughs> Letting his frustrations out in the ring. I'm sorry. Missile trying to apologize. Not sure what this is going to mean for them going forward, but both visibly upset. You'll definitely have to check back next time here for some more Riot Pro Wrestling.